It's Fox and Friends. Happy holidays, everybody. Easter is tomorrow, obviously, and we have some kids out here engaged in a beautiful Easter egg hunt. My We're favorite so song. Excited. Uh, <laughs> and Maya Hague is here. here. She's a children's book author. My son has this book. My I son has this book. book. Do you really? Yeah. Yes. It's great. So the point is um, that you can personalize your kids' Easter experience. It doesn't have to be a generic one. It can make each of them feel special. That's right. You can put personalized notes into the eggs that the Easter Bunny brings, like Mommy loves you, Daddy loves you, and make it really fun for the kids. So moms and dads are busier than ever, and they have to deal with all of these things. How can they cut down on the amount of time they have to do this stuff? Well, you can just get those plastic eggs that pull apart and put a fun note in them. Um, you can do you can do a project with your kids where you write their name on the cookies. You can just do fun little things in the baskets with their names on. Them. I love it because you know it's often so often about candy. Right. So it's nice to have a little note or some other treat inside the egg that they're searching for right Don't now. Don't kiss yourself, really Ellie. If there's not candy in those eggs, you are in big <laughs> my, my trouble. My son is over there. He does look confused at the moment. He's wondering. He's like, wait a minute. It's just my name in this egg. Where's the candy? Right. Where's the food? <laughs> All right. But tell us about the Easter baskets that aren't necessarily filled. With candy, they have some other things. What do yes. you have in here? Well, our company, I see me like I see myself. Uh, we are publishers of personalized children's books, and we produce very high-end quality personalized books and make great gifts. And the first one that we produce, I'm the author of the book. It's called My Very Own Name, and this I See Me book features the child's name throughout the story, and the animals bring letters one by one to spell the child's name, like the tiger brings the T, the yak brings the Y, and the animals spell out the whole name in the story. Yeah, my I mean, son loves the, this book. The kids are very, I mean, my kid has it as well, and they're very surprised when they realize you're not just messing with them, it's actually their name in the book, and it's a lot of fun as they learn how to read right. as well. People buy it a lot as new baby gifts and birthday gifts and uh, gifts throughout the year That's for, children, for young it. children. All right, yes. what else do you suggest in the baskets? Right. The other um, ideas are you can put a tag on candy, for example, or you can Cody. personalize just by those sticky things that have the letters and put them on eggs. Um, this, this one says Quinn. Um, you can take a pencil and write the child's name down it, so just do fun things like that. Or you can include our other uh, book is called Who Loves Andrew? This is our new book. That's your, oh, that's your new yes, one. Yes, right. another book, and these are on icme.com. So now you personalize that, right? Yes. You personalize it with the, the child's name yes. on there. Yes, when you that's go great. to icme.com, you give us the names of six people who love the child. And, for example, this book has um, Who Loves Andrew? Mommy Loves Andrew. How much? So much. More than the mountains, more than the streams, more than a little boy's happiest dreams. And it has the names of all the different people throughout the story that love the child. That's a I great stole idea. some chocolate eggs from the kids. From the kids? Oh, oh. Go. sweet work. All right, sweet. Should we go Solid. And see what the kids Let's see how it's going. Check it out. Guys, how is the Easter egg going? What did you guys find? Right this. Yes. What's this? You know what this is. You're a TV professional. How's the Easter egg hunt going, sweetie? What'd you find? Eggs, eggs, just like mommy, very professional literal. on television. Yeah, very literal, yes. <laughs> well, Looking thanks for... guys all for coming. And oh, Easter one. Bunny, thanks for being here. You have a big fan in this one. She might take you home. Good luck with that. <laughs> I like the vest as well. And Maya Haig, thanks so much for Thank coming you. and showing us the new books. They're great suggestions for Easter or for really any I'm present. Hiding. Yes. I'm hiding one. You'll never, you'll never guess so where I hid that happening. egg. What'd you guys get in here? Hey, oh, you got a chocolate egg! No, Yay, this is a Fruit Loop treat.